Yeah, I know. You knew that Richard was having money trouble and you knew that he was working at a car dealership. Did you guys think that I couldn't handle this? Was it just the money? I've been without money before, Riva. He wanted to tell you himself. He doesn't get the chance now, does he? How long have you known? A few weeks. A few weeks. You and my husband have been lying to me for a few weeks about a job? It wasn't like that. What was it like? He wanted to be a success and then surprise you. Well, he got his wish, didn't he? Surprise. And my dad is, too, so. All right. Um, I'm going to get out of here. Marina, we can't just leave her here all alone. We're not. You're here. Well, her dad is in the hospital. It is really bad. Yeah, I know. It's just, I mean, I told her I was sorry. Look, Lizzie, you have to understand, helping people, it just, it just isn't really my thing. You know, I mean, I try, I try to do the right thing, and then it's just like, boom, disaster, and everything goes wrong. So I think the best thing for me to do right now would be to just leave Tammy alone. That is not true. Just please, just please just stay. I mean, we don't even have to talk about Richard. We can talk, you know, about whatever. Look, I'm sorry. I can't. <sighs> Hey, Tammy, um, we can do whatever you want. I've got books, video games, movies, whatever, just name it. Whatever you want, Lizzie. I don't really care. Yeah, if I had a place like this, I would have never run away from California. I mean, I, I thought you left. Yeah, I realized I had a few extra hours to kill before I had to get to company. So, what was it like when you ran away? Why? Are you thinking of making a break for it? No, I actually <laughs> ran away a couple times when I was younger. I never got anywhere, though. Hmm. Yeah, I guess every kid wants to get away from home, huh? Oh, I didn't. Uh, I never really had a real home until Richard came along. I guess I was just happy that I had a real home. Uh, what was it like when you were out there all by yourself? I don't know. I, like ate what I ate, slept where I slept. I mean, it was it was pretty basic stuff, I guess. Well, what did you do about food? I mean, you told me that you left with only the clothes you had on your back. I took the stuff I needed. And you never got caught? Well, I did get caught once. I can't just sit here pretending that my dad is really sick. And no, Tammy, that's not what we were trying to do. Yes, we were just trying to... yeah, it, it was what we were trying to do, and we're really sorry. I can't believe I let you guys talk me into this. I gotta go. Look, I told you I couldn't fix this. I mean, it's like... I can't fix anything. It wasn't you. Was he embarrassed? Was he embarrassed that he had to have a regular job? Is that why he kept this from me? No, that wasn't it. Oh, please. Please help me understand why he kept this for me, because I, I just... I'm his wife, Reva. He knew how hard you'd fought all your life, you know, for... Fought to keep your kids and fought to stay afloat financially, and he didn't want you to ever have to go through that again. 
He didn't want you to ever have to worry about money. And he said you'd had enough fighting. And you know what? There's more, though, because he loved what he was doing. He, his whole life had been a series of silver platters, you know, and he really liked this work. Without me. He, he just... He, he wanted to get to Chicago and make this big deal. Mr. McBride and the fleet yeah. of cars. He wanted just to close on that deal and then come back here and be able to tell you all about it. I should be hearing this from him. Not you. And if I could do anything to change that, I would. I should have been with him, Reva. I should have gone to Chicago with him. If I would have been with him, he wouldn't have been rushing to get back to me. I could have changed everything if you would have told me. We'd be having our second honeymoon, Reva. I would have been in his arms right now if it weren't for you. Helping Richard do something for you and the kids. When he told me about how hard you'd fought all your life, that resonated with me. And I wasn't there when you were growing up. I wish I had been, because if I'd known, I would have helped then. I guess I just, I just wanted to help this time. Mm, you know, Riva, even the smallest lie can hurt people. You know that. I know, I know, and I know you're hurt. And if you, if you need someone to, you know, rail at, then I want that person to be me. Oh, well, that's just so noble of you, Riva. Thank you. My, my big sister, steamroller of good intentions. Well, look where your big heart got us this time. And I don't know if we can recover from this. I'm not talking about Richard because he, he's going to be fine. I'm talking about me and you. Yeah, I want you to go. Because I really need to be, I really need to be with Richard right now. Continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. <laughs> she, if, if you must know, she came over to help me comfort Tammy. Hmm. How's Tammy doing? I'm sure she's pretty worried about her father. She is. <laughs> she's a mess, and we didn't help much. wouldn't care about the job. If anything, I would love to hear all about it. Oh, I owe everything. 
everything now. I, I know we're running out of money. I know you got a job at a car dealership. And I know about this whole secret life that you had. and you have to come back to me so we can fight and we can kiss and we can make up but you have to come back to me you have to wake up Richard you have to come back to me this has been Guiding Light 